The following program is brought to you by Gizop Productions. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to all another episode of the Totally Necessary Wrestling Podcast. Holy shit, guys! What a fucking episode of uh, War Games out, fucking one, dude. That was a great fucking show, man. So we are here to give you our thoughts in regards to NXT War Games here this evening. Um, you know, there was only, well, I guess technically there was five matches on the show. I would kick the show off actually with uh, Matt Riddle taking on Cassius Ono, which I thought this was taking place on NXT TV uh, this coming week here, but I don't know exactly what happened here. But we saw Matt Riddle uh, open the show up here, which was definitely um, a welcome, <laughs> a welcome change of events there in regards to that. I'm a Definitely a fan of uh, Matt Riddle here. Uh, seeing Fat Cash's Ono pop out was uh, was 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 fun too, man. It was over really quick. We saw Matt Riddle get the win in quick fashion, defeating Cash's Ono here. Um, I thought it was a real fun win, especially considering there was f- only four matches on this card, and we knew this card was at least going to go. You know, a two and a half hour to possibly a three hour show. So you figure four matches, that's a lot of time, um, you know, on the main card there. So they kind of had to, you know, break up the monotony there and whatnot. So it was good to see Matt Riddle come out and get a a solid win in front of the NXT universe here on his very first uh, takeover, at least uh, competing in the ring there, I should say. Um, so the uh, set next match of the evening, we did see uh, Shayna Baszler defending her NXT Women's Championship match in a two out of three falls match for uh, against Kari Sane, uh, which Shayna Baszler ended up winning two to one. Um, I thought this was a pretty fun match. It, it didn't necessarily go as long as you, as you thought it would be going here regarding the situation. Um, it only went ten minutes and fifty five seconds here. I thought it was a uh, it was it was, a, it was it was a fun back and forth match as Shayna Baszler and Carrie Sane have shown to have um, in their past meetings of for you know the NXT Women's Championship along also with the a May Young Classic. Um, excuse me, guys, I'm like pretty tired right now. I'm like ready for bed at this point here, but um, we had to get through we had to get through the the pay per view and then definitely go ahead and get um you know get our thoughts in here and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, no, I thought the Shayna Baszler, Kerry Sane was definitely a solid, uh, solid match here. Um, I, I, I figured Shayna Baszler would win. Um, it was fun to see, uh, I believe it was Dakota Kai and, um, then, uh, fuck dude, I can't even remember that chick's name. Um, the chick that was in the, the May Young Classic Finals this year that lost Tony Storm. Um, so that chick made her presence known and, um, yeah, so they tried to fend off the other two four horsewomen members uh but unfortunately um kari sane hit that fucking that that badass fucking elbow drop and um was unfortunately turned into a quick pin from Shayna baszler and Shayna baszler picked up the win here um yeah definitely a solid match um dude then the next three matches dude i contend that all three of these following matches here were like possibly match of the night to <laughs> like i don't know i don't know man like the alistair black versus johnny gargano outside of As- alistair black just being um you know not necessarily not you know enjo- enjoying the character itself um the man's moves are just flawless dude he's very fucking crisp in the ring um really enjoyed this match a lot here um ultimately alistair black did defeat johnny gargano in 18 minutes and 10 seconds um definitely a solid outing though from both men here um up to this point, dude, this was definitely my favorite uh, match of the evening here. And again, Aleister Black, dude, like that guy just fucking kills it every single time he gets in the ring there. So uh, a very solid match here. And again, I uh, I walked away from this pay-per-view just with 
fucking raving reviews, especially these last three matches. Uh, we went on then to see Tommaso Ciampa defend his NXT championship against Velveteen Dream. And in 22 minutes and 25 seconds, we saw Tommaso Ciampa uh, retain. This was, again, they just they continued to build off the Aleister Black, Johnny Gargano uh, energy from the, the previous match there. And they, they, they fucking they delivered... I would say at least a fucking four star match here, man. I mean, a lot of near falls, a lot of, a lot of physicality here. Um, I really think a lot of people thought the Velveteen Dream may actually have had a chance at the very end there uh, to capture the NXT World Championship, but, but Tommaso Ciampa uh, showing his worth as the NXT uh, World Champion here pulls out the victory here. So. Um, again, you know, we start with the, you know, the Aleister Black, Johnny Gargano match definitely being my, you know, my favorite match at that point. Then moving on to the Tommaso Ciampa Velveteen Dream match. I mean, that just kind of, you know, they just elevated the, the card that much more. And that brings us to, honestly, I, I, I think we can all say this is our match of the night, the War Games match, which was, um, Pete Dunn, Ricochet, War Raiders, and taking on the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roddick Strong. Uh, this match went 47 minutes and 10 seconds, guys. This was fucking insane, dude. Like, I can't believe um, this was intense all the way through, guys. Um, you know, I like the whole War Games aspect, you know, getting one guy in at a time. I thought, I like that. I think that's fun. They built it up pretty well. And then once they got everybody into the ring there, just the, the spots, the tables, the spots off the off the cage ricochet doing whatever the fuck that was like a, a, a seven times flip going uh just everywhere dude and it was so fucking cool i had such a fun time fucking watching this match here um ultimately uh ricochet and pete dunn got the cover on um adam cole and thus uh pete dunn ricochet and war raiders picks up the win and wins war games guys so guys we're, we're gonna keep this this one uh, nice and sweet and short here <laughs> again i'm just fucking super tired man this is a long fucking day ladies and gentlemen uh but nonetheless dude nxt takeover lived up to being a really good show um I don't know if Survivor Series is going to top this, honestly, guys. I really have a feeling this is, you know, as as per the norm, we're going to walk away this weekend saying that the NXT show was way better. But I think I think Survivor Series does have a running chance with some of those matches there tomorrow night. But fuck, dude, those those last three matches, man. Aleister Black, fucking that motherfucker, man. He has some smooth ass fucking shit in the ring, dude. So it was it dude honestly everybody killed it tonight on fucking NXT. Uh kudos to the brand. Um this is why NXT is my favorite ba- brand uh week in week out dude. I I can't get enough of NXT. So um we'll we'll definitely see what the fallout fallout is for NXT moving forward and see where the stories are going. Uh but until then uh we will see you guys um tomorrow night. Um, yeah, fucking for our, for our fucking Survivor Series review. So we will uh, see you guys tomorrow.